So we're here with, uh, uh, what is your name for the camera? The name's up there, dude. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> so, you are a comic book writer? Artist. Artist. And you have worked on Green Lantern, which is yes. totally awesome, which has impacted my life in a huge way, and probably a bunch of other fans. Uh, what are you currently working on? I'm currently, I'm a conceptual illustrator. I work for a variety of clients. I do everything from character design to uh, product design, uh, gaming art, and you know, some comics here and there when I can squeeze them. Awesome, awesome. So what was your, when you were doing Green Lantern, what was your favorite piece to do? Um, Project-wise, I probably would say the Green Lantern Silver Surfer crossover, because you know, it gave me the opportunity to draw Marvel and DC characters at the same time, and uh, it was the, the one time I got to draw Galactus professionally. It's a, I, I, you know, it's, that's a real career highlight for me. So, uh, I'd probably have to say that that was my favorite project. You know, I got one, I got one question I've been meaning to ask someone who was affiliated with Green Lantern. Okay. Um, how exactly did you? I know you you're just the drawer, but uh, how did you feel about the Green Lantern movie? The movie I thought was a good start. I think they tried to do too much because it's, ne it's never been done before. So, you know, you, you had. If you look at the very first live action uh, Superman or Batman back in the 40s, the serials, they weren't that great. You know, we had time to kind of find the way. I think Green Lantern, the nature of the character, it just needs a little bit more time. I think whatever they do from here on out, maybe with the upcoming uh, Green Lantern Corps movie, you know, will we'll really f be firing on all cylinders. I think the one thing the movie uh, suffered from was trying to do too much. I think I wouldn't have had. Uh, Hector Hammond and Parallax. I think I would have limited it to the rivalry between Hal Jordan and Sinestro, just the, that yin and yang type of thing, and I would have focused on that. But you know, th there's things that they probably sat back and looked and said, "Yeah, let's let's do this differently next time," that sort of thing. So I thought for a first effort, it wasn't that bad. You know, it, it, had, it had some things going for it. Awesome. So, um, as an artist, what inspired you the most? As an artist. Um, Hmm, what's inspired me the most? Um, I mean, it was just something I've always wanted to do. I mean, growing up collecting comics and, and enjoying them and just drawing as a hobby, I, I thought, you know, what's the one field of art I really wanted to do for the rest of my life? And I would say it's something comic related since it, it relates to hobbies and something I was passionate about. Awesome, awesome. Are you uh, more traditional with like pen and paper or are you digital? I both. Awesome. In this day and age, you really need to have a strong uh, uh, digital ability because just the nature of how things are going. I mean, uh, even some of my recent comic work were all digital. It's just, even when it's traditional, it still needs to be scanned and sent digital. So, you know, when, when I can work completely that way, it, it, it just depends on time factor. But if you're going to be an illustrator in this day and age, you, you really need to have a strong ability to be able to work your way around a computer. Awesome. Uh, thank you for your time. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, one more question. Okay. And this question is more of a fan question. Okay. Which lantern is the most powerful as in terms of color? Uh, that's hard to say because, you know, I've been away from the book for a long time. And it, since then, we've got orange lanterns, red lanterns, blue lanterns, the whole nine yards. Uh, now, if I'm understanding this correctly, I think it was when Kyle Rayner was the white lantern. I, I heard that that was like the peak of it. That I'm not 100%, but uh, that would be my guess. But I, I don't know if that's if that's canon or not. But that that I might need to look up because, like I said, I've been away from the book for 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 a little while. So. Okay. Okay. Uh, Any favorite character? My favorite? Yeah. As far as Green Lantern, I think you can probably guess that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, John. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you.